Hey, fine good morning to all my uh, YouTuber buddies and friends and people just interested in seeing what it's like around here. I'm at uh, the uh, Sands at Pismo, Pismo Sands RV Resort. Uh, behind us is our travel trailer. Uh, it's a uh, just a 24 foot uh, Coachman 248 RBS, and uh, just going to give you a little tour of uh, Pismo Sands RV Resort. Here, it's about it's October 15th, uh, 2020, and uh, so you might hear a little bit of gardening there, and a running some stuff around here so uh, please excuse any kind of noises or whatever so we'll start from the front kind of go around uh, seems like a real nice place we've had no trouble no problems uh, can be a little noisy at times so far uh, but we've been okay and so uh, anyway let's get started with the tour okay so here we are at the front entrance this is highway one here um, I can tell you from where we are which is towards the front of the park uh, you can see our flags there off in the distance. Um, kind of close to the highway. At night, not a big deal, not a problem. Um, but uh, in the morning, by the time everybody goes to work during the weekdays, it gets a little noisy and I can hear a train coming through here and there. A uh, train doesn't bother me so much, but uh, yeah, a little noisy about uh, 5.30, 6 o'clock it starts up, but then it settles down, you know, less than an hour later. So. Uh, depending on where you are in the park, and it does go uh, quite a ways uh, in. Um, I'm suspecting it's probably a little quieter towards the back. So I wouldn't judge a uh, book by its cover, this being the cover, the entrance. Uh, but uh, yeah, today we're going to be getting some noise from gardeners and whatnot, but naturally that's just pretty much a morning thing. So uh, anyway, uh, let's get started. So we'll come in here. This is uh, a guest check-in area. Uh, it stretches there around the corner. And that main building there is the uh, administrative building. And uh, that's where you sign up. I'll take you through a not so luxurious place here that I found interesting. They actually have a fish cleaning station. I don't know how often it's used, but it's there. So, uh, dumpsters and all kinds of not pretty things but you don't really see that coming in so it doesn't take away from the aesthetics of the location so uh, yeah here's your uh, fish cleaning place so I guess if you do some fishing you can bring them back here and clean them up so I'm not sure if that water works it's got electric got everything I'm pretty sure it all works and a fire extinguisher in case you're fish cache on fire. Looks like a, an auxiliary dump station here. And that's going to be our uh, ambient noise in the background, unfortunately. So we're back at the entry, is what you're going to see when you drive in. And uh, it's a key, uh, key code gated facility, so you can have access 24-7. Uh, so if you go into town, have a nice evening come back you're not locked out you don't have to look for a security guard don't have any kind of a curfew as it were so this is the main office uh, that door there is where you would check in now this park is kind of different from a lot of other parks we've been at in that they kind of have you in a buddy system so as you see this rig here is pointed one direction and the other behind it is parked facing it so this is kind of a, a buddy system in the middle of it you see that there's going to be hookups and all that kind of thing so the next trailer would park the direction we're facing and uh and then that, that would be his buddy over there of course that's not a good example but most of them are just like this so if you come with some friends another rvr uh you guys can be face to face and you have your own little good morning <laughs> We're doing great, <laughs> doing great. So uh, happy people, people happy to be here. Anyway, so uh, you park face to face, your front doors are facing each other and you have this nice grassy area in between. And that's kind of cool. So uh, uh, on the flip side of that, if you got somebody on the other side you don't know, well, they're gonna be, they're gonna be real close to you, but 
you know, we didn't find that to be a serious problem. Um, depending on how your dining area is set up and this and that, it's kind of cool. But you will be sharing this area with a neighbor, but you know what, RVers, we're friendly people, right? So it shouldn't be a big problem. So again, same thing here. So all your hookups and everything are gonna be in the center. They really want you, in fact, it's pretty much mandatory that you park like this. And just like this guy, you gotta be all the way back to the line. We actually had a guy kind of watching over us and directing us to make sure we were far back. We've had friends here uh, in the past and it didn't work out so well for them. They parked in one of these spots and he had it forward and I guess they gave him some grief about it and he wasn't happy. So just be warned that they do want you back and they do want you kind of in these positions all the way, your rig all the way as far back to the line as possible. And by the way, I've never seen a place with actual lines, so I think they kind of enforce it a bit, maybe a few inches over and not have the uh, park police out getting in, but uh, we've had no problem. So anyway, very pretty, very green, lots of trees. A lot of these sites you're gonna see have trees between them in that little common area where you're sharing with a buddy. These guys got a great little site here. They got a nice little bush. It's shading them from the sun, which uh, comes up over there from the east and so they don't they get no morning sun but then again they're not getting the, the heat uh secondarily though of course later on in the afternoon they'll be getting some of that heat so this has a series of rings three that kind of come around and connect into each other so it kind of almost like this is the center hub here and everything kind of uh radiates out from there so while we're over here, we'll have a look at some other things that I haven't even looked at yet. I do know there's a pool back here. And obviously it's in use, so it's not some swamp that's not being taken care of. So it looks like it's being taken care of just fine. Uh, here's the washroom, which is locked out oddly. So maybe you gotta go and get a key or something. I don't see any code here. So I'm not sure if they're just mandating things. Maybe you have to get a key because of the COVID and they'll make sure that a whole bunch of people are in there and they're kind of monitoring that. So for reference, we're right in the middle of COVID right now. Morning. And we're right behind there. Let's go have a look at the office. Not sure what that phone's for some sort of intercom system, maybe. Yeah, people are coming in and out of there. Anyway, the office is nice. There's uh, some uh, beverages and things like that. It's right over here. I did the same thing. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I'm not going to go in there, but they have a little gift shop, and uh, you can get some beverages things of that nature and probably some souvenirs uh it's nice in there it's, i'm gonna take a quick peek hopefully the covid police don't come get me so, well, they give you free popcorn when you come Again, the same situation uh, with the buddy system, pretty much throughout the park, unless you have an end spot. But as you can see, it's uh, nice and green. The green belt's a cool thing. I really like it a lot myself. Uh, it's really well lit, almost excessive to me. I kind of like a darker environment, but if you got blackout shades, it's not gonna really bother you too much. Can see we're moving into Halloween. He's got his setup. Somebody's waiting for food. So we've been waiting for a while. So uh, I think it's a repair shop there behind us. I know that a couple of doors down there's a, a shop that'll actually come and wax your rig, wax and clean it, will clean and wax it. And uh, they also do some repairs. I know they do some a lot of roof repairs. So is a place where you'd, at least you have a, a place if you're getting leaks or 
hanging out for a while, you can go and hire some of these guys to take care of your stuff if you're not really wanting to uh, climb all over your rig. As was mentioned by another YouTuber, I watched this place, there's the barbecue, although I'm getting the feeling that things haven't been barbecued there in quite some time. And uh, well, here's uh, for uh, horseshoes, which once again, doesn't appear to have been used in a while. So again, the buddy system, here's a, a much wider area here. So if you're on the outer loop right now. So I see the green belts get quite a bit bigger. And the sights are quite a bit longer from where we are. I can see that too. That's a fairly large rig. This guy's still got room. The way I gotta park mine, I'll show you later. I gotta park my, my overall length of my uh, travel trailer is 30 feet stem to stern. And I gotta come in at a pretty crazy angle and avoid the tongue of my trailer in the site that I am, just to make sure I'm, you know, within the lines. So yeah, I'm thinking this house here is probably for the management and, uh, or maybe the owners. Well, that's what I would do. Now here's the uh, cabins I was telling you about. So they look kind of cool, a patio, a private area. Pretty deep. Looks like at least a couple of bedrooms and a, a living room area. And of course, some nice chairs to sit out and watch the sunset because that's what you'd be seeing from that area. And a nice back area. So this looks like it's pretty quiet. It's probably one of the quieter places. And it appears they provide a barbecue. I don't think, I don't think anybody's here. Yeah, they all have barbecue. So it looks like they give you a barbecue, patio chairs. A nice view out your window towards the setting sun should be that way. And a little bit of privacy. So uh, the lawns kept very nice. Um, here in Pismo, they seem to be very protective of their grass. I guess, and what I mean by that, I guess they just don't want people parking their rigs on them, their trucks and what have you, which is understandable. All right, so here's parking for the cottages because obviously there's nothing in front. Now here's one with a pretty big patio. So this is reserved I guess maybe if you have a couple if you're bringing maybe a couple families a couple of cars I guess you could park in here. This is also um, I think if you were to bring in a rig whereas your truck wouldn't be able to fit and that would apply to us because in the future we're going to have a dually instead of the Toyota. It's going to be significantly longer. It probably won't fit in that one site. These would be the places you'd probably park. I don't know if they charge for the additional space or not to park your vehicle. I wouldn't think so. But I don't know that for sure. So, as you can see of where we're at, you know, we share with uh, these people who just showed up yesterday. And that's how we're set up from a distance. So you see it goes all the way. This fence we're facing right now, again, is the Coast Highway. On the other side of that fence is the entrance we came in. And uh, these would be back in sites, as you could see. A lot of these are pull through. So a good amount, or I think mostly, I think three quarters of the uh, spots here are going to be um, pull through and then some back in sites, of course. So, but clearly don't have enough room to park. Well, that guy parked on the grass. Maybe they're okay to park on the grass there. I don't know. I get confused. So if we had the dually right now, we'd have to park over here, which is not such a big deal except for my wife likes to be in and out of the truck all the time, forgetting things. She's got a lot of things to carry. Girls have a lot of things to carry. So some of them get left in the truck. So I find myself getting home and uh, going out to the truck a few times, which is not a big deal. I just hate turning on the alarm off and on. It's 
guy's got a nice setup here. Morning, lady. He has a nice setup. Keeping it clean. What do they mean by dog station? What does that mean? I don't see there's a lock on that box. That's where they poo and you gotta clean it up. What's in the box? It's not obvious to me. Maybe you guys know. So in the offing you see our flags. We started running the flags a couple of trips ago. Kind of cool because you can kind of see where you are right away because you can get lost in these RV jungles sometimes. Where am I park? Where am I? Until you get used to it. Just start looking for those, those marks, <laughs> those landmarks. For us, it's that flag. Of course, we have this right here, the uh, administrative area and the pool. It's not a big deal, but it's fun to have the flags. Runo Glory and our newest Thriving Happily Ever After flag. And of course, we have it illuminated all night through solar light. So, we'll go to our campsite and kind of look at what we got going. Um, I like to uh, put a trash bag here on the ladder, kind of keep most of my stuff. And, trash and then just do one big load over there instead of back and forth it saves a little bit of time it always seems to be something to do and a rig you guys know always some little thing to do so and uh, this is how I got a park I again I, I'm deathly afraid maybe for no reason that I'm going to touch the grass so as a result my wife's going to kind of guide me in to make sure I don't clip her on rig so I know what you're going to say, the truck might be a little light for this. It's probably maxed out, but hence the upgrade. We wanted to see how things were RVing before we started investing in expensive trucks. But you know what? This is taking us a lot of places. I just don't tackle any hills on it. Anyway. All right. So here's your water hookup. One side for us and one side for your neighbor. And uh, this has uh, 30 and 50 amp here. I'm guessing most of these things have, uh, most of them are 50 amp. You saw all the big rigs, they're all gonna be 50 amp. Um, this was okay, this worked out. Not a big long length, I had to hit your sewer lines. Not much length uh, for, uh, to reach anything really. Hose is a little long, but not a big deal. Plenty of hose. I'm able to hook everything up pretty easily. So all in all, uh, everything's set up really nice, and uh, it's very convenient. A couple little tight spots, but uh, nothing we all can't work around it. Um, by the way, they have cable. And, uh, I was able to plug in last night and watch a few things. So uh, I don't think any movie channels though. So uh, this is it. This is the Pismo Sands RV Resort in Oceano which is just south of Pismo Beach. And uh, it's a nice place, it's very green. And now that the uh, gardening crew's out, it's, it's quiet, it's, it's pretty serene, it's not bad. Um, and uh, yeah, we've had no problems, I highly recommend it. So, this is Doug, I hope uh, you have safe travels and wonderful times and enjoy your lives and uh, enjoy what comes natural to you have a great day god bless